Good morning, everybody. It's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. I am getting ready to go to Target. I got a gift card there, and so um, I need to pick up a couple, two, three things. Dang. Mm. I just looking at the gas. I'm like, I put sixty dollars in here yesterday. I mean, we did kind of go for a little, little run, just a little bit. But I'm like, dang, I put sixty dollars in here yesterday, and we already kind of dropped a little bit. I mean, it's not at a half, but still. Anyway, um, getting ready to go to Target. I'm trying to decide which Target am I going to. Then I'm going to go to the Target out by my mom's. Because I don't like the Target that's closer to me. I just, for one, I don't like the parking. For two, um, I don't like the parking and I don't like, um, I just don't like the atmosphere. And I'm really, 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 really trying to um you know protect my peace it's the weekend boss man's mad because i left him mind you okay i got up at eight o'clock it is now 909 he's been seeing me dress like i i shouldn't have to say i'm leaving you see I, when i am fully dressed i don't took my bonnet off regardless if i like how my hair look or not if I done took my bonnet off and I have on shoes, I'm walking through the house in shoes and you know we are a shoeless house, you know I'm leaving. Like, seriously, like, I have two packages delivered. I literally walked out the house, walked around to the back door because they delivered them at the back. I wasn't trying to get the cat. Because <laughs> I'm like, it's the weekend. I, don't, I shouldn't have to deal with the cat. That's not my responsibility. So, okay. So anyway, I um oh I don't think I'm gonna go to that one. I think I might mm, maybe I get on the freeway real quick. But anyway, I'm like, you knew I was leaving. You knew I need to put knots in these. I don't want to lose my strings in my hood. Um, so he was mad. He was like, I'm coming. I'm like, no, you're not. I'm like, husband, I've been sitting here for the longest. You have not gotten up. He was ready to sit up and start watching memes and no, or not memes, but reels and shorts and. I, no, I'm leaving. So he, he's he's ticked. He's he's a little ticked. I'm coming out. No, you're not. You, you're staying home with the kid and the cat. I'm out. You know. But anyway, I want I I wanted to leave him at the house anyway. Not that I don't love my husband because we did have a good date night last night, honey. We was out until after midnight, child. Yes, God. Anyway. Um, we went out to the country, had dinner, and then we came back, dropped dinner off to Miss Peanut, and then we, um, we went visiting, which is a good thing, but let me tell you about our visit. So, it started off on a high, you know, they were glad to see us, we were glad to see them. You know, how y'all doing? What's been going on? You know, they, oh, we know it's back to school time. It's senior year, this and that. You know, all the pleasantries. And then, um, then it was all about what's Miss Peanut planning to do after senior year. And, you know, what school she looking at. And, you know, is she going on tours? And first of all, if you're touring senior year, get a little late. Because applications is due like boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Like she has some applications she need to to get done. Like for real. So I'm not touring. I mean, there's schools that are literally doing tours. There are schools doing tours. Don't get me wrong. But if you're trying to get that first decision or that first, you know, round of the most money, look, you need to be to, I ain't going on a tour because I'm doing this, 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 and this, right? So anyway... Then of course, um, she going in all the black colleges and what about the HBCUs and da 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 and I'm just like, here we go. And then well what is she into or what is she like? What is, you know, and I'm just like she she loves art, but that's not something that she wants to major in. Well, why not? If that's what she loves and this and that and blah blah blah. I said because she doesn't want to be a starving artist. But you know, I feel like I had to keep explaining. And so the reason why I'm bring this up is because Miss Peanut also has spoken to me yesterday. In reference to, I guess, there's some people questioning her. Must be at school because she ain't been nowhere else, right? 
what's your plans at the college and what you plan to major in and this and that and da 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 right? And she was like, mom, right now, I just don't know. And I said, and that's okay. There's a lot of kids who are undecided. There are a lot of kids, there's a lot of kids that go to school and mess up. First and foremost, we're not on that pathway. You know, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to sit up here and you're going to, you know, do what needs to be done. So anyway, um, so she was just, you know, frustrated with that. And, you know, so back to the visit, I said, she is undecided. I said, but she's she already has her plan up, getting all her generals done. So then all she has to do is focus on her major, her last two years of school. You know, and so I'm, you know, well, what school is she looking at? I said, well, the school that she wants to go to is this school. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. And I said, yes, she already got her application in. We're just waiting on, you know, decision and blah, blah, blah. Or not decision, but acceptance. And, you know, I mean, pretty much she is accepted. We just got to get the official. You know what I mean? Just all the little pleasantries. So, um, so at first it was like, oh, yeah, that's a good school. And, oh, she wants to be one of those. And, da, 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 and, you know, and then it was back to the HBCU talk. And it, I was like, back up with that, right? Just back up. So then, you know, we got to talk about the roof. And, you know, because, of course, my husband wanted to bring that up. Because we went to go see them a few weeks ago, um, well, last month. And we went over there. And we know it's like, there's nobody here. Like, for real and I said they're really not here because their blinds are closed and all the things well then we find out why they weren't there and uh my aunt-in-law lost her mother the end of July and so they were in um you know had to go back home to you know take care of business and stuff and so I was just like, dang, and you know, with it being her mom, I understand why we weren't called because I mean, that's a blow, you know, and she had her grandchildren here. So, you know, she was dealing with a lot of things, you know, but I was just like, dang, I wish we, you know, we would have known we could have, you know, did something, whatever, but, and they've only been back. They haven't been back that long because they're retired. So they've been back that long and everything, but I was just like, oh man. And you know, if we met her mom and you know, and so then, of course, we sat and we listened to all the stories, and, you know, and Auntie is 74, her mom was 97, so, I mean, and to not have put your mother in a nursing home at all, because you got more than enough kids to take care of you, more than enough kids who are nurses or retired nurses and stuff like that, so, I mean, that was a blessing in itself, I mean, you were able to take care of her up until her, you know, home going, so... Um, she passed in Texas and then they had to fly her back up to her hometown in Iowa and stuff. So, but yeah, so that was, that was a lot. And I know she's been dealing, cause now that her mom has passed, she's been dealing with, you know, the after affairs of things. So anyway, but, um, overall our visit was good. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> nose itchy so you see i got a whole hoodie right i'm not looking at the camera because i am focused because there's a whole lot of construction that don't popped up on my regular route here and i'm like what's going on with this anyway um so <laughs> i got a whole hoodie y'all well right now it's 55 degrees it was 51 i posted on my instagram it was 51 degrees i was like what the cool temps are here baby but Yes, they're here, but it's going to get back in the 80s this coming week. Because we normally have, like, dog days, and then, then we go into, like, coldness or whatever. So, it is what it is. I'm trying to think. What's today? Today is the 7th. Mm. I didn't check my CVS. I think, oh, I think my thing doesn't go to CVS until the 9th. Hmm. Okay, well, I won't worry about it right now then. How about that? Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to Target. I got to pick up just a couple things. Um, and you know, having a gift card just kind of helps out, right? So, um, whew, I'm tired. At least that's one, one thing I, that did work was the, the Target card. Um, we got homecoming. Homecoming is next week. And they're asking for... Oh, 
excuse me, they're asking for chaperones. So I'm thinking I might chaperone homecoming, the dance. So I'm thinking about going to the game, you know, and rah, 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 you know, support the boys. And then I'm thinking about going to the, the dance and chaperone the dance. Um, I don't know. And then, you know, we got this, we have an alumni association that I am not a fan of. I'm just not, I am an alumni, but I'm not a fan of the association. And it's because of the person who runs it or whatever. And she's just, she's, blah, blah, blah. anyway, so, um, I'm trying to decide if, because they're going to be selling these shirts and stuff, you know, I think it says, I forgot, I forgot, but it says something, something alumni. I don't know if it says North Polar alumni, alumni. Or what I don't know, and then they have, of course, they got a pin. The sweatshirts are like forty-five dollars. I think that's the highest price for the sweatshirts, forty-five. Then you can get a long sleeve shirt, and those shirts are like twenty-five to thirty-five. So I think my size would be like thirty-five. And then they got the pin. The pin is ten dollars, and I'm like, mm. so I don't reach out to my hairdresser. Like, you're over Booster Club. Is Booster Club doing anything? And before she even think about it, no, she is not selling the staff shirts. Because staff will be getting those shirts. Period. Okay. Shoot. I'm not playing. So I got my second order for staff shirts. And I'm trying to decide. I think by Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. I will do, you know, staff pick up again for shirts. But, yeah. But what kills me is because everybody who thinks they walk through those doors, they think they're supposed to have a shirt on. I'm sorry, who are you and what do you do and what now? So I'm like, mm. So I, I specifically, because we have what's called like a staff email, but it's not just a staff email. It's like a building wide email. And I don't want to send this email out to the building. I want to send it only to teachers and our SEAs and admin you know our nurses yes I'm trying to think who else so uh, teachers our SEAs our dean security admin nurses well one nurse she's leaving so okay she won't be getting another one um but yeah I you know what I mean I just like but like you know, the engineers want one, and the the people who work in the the school based clinic, they be want. And I'm just like, back up! You actually don't work for the school. You work inside the school. There's a difference. There's a difference. You know, and then they, oh, you know, my sister and my cousin. No, that's not what these shirts are for. Back up. You know what I mean? Because if that's the case, we need to be selling the shirts. But I am, like I said, I reached out to Booster Club. Because Booster Club sold sweatshirts last year. And those sweatshirts, that was my big blue sweatshirt. And I'm like, mm. Because, you know, it's getting cold and a sister going to need a hoodie. Like, I must have looked. I said, oh, I do got a hoodie. I'm about to be up on Timu or somewhere ordering me some hoodies, honey. I got these outfits that came in the mail yesterday from Timu. I think I might just put the pictures of them in here. I'm not going to hold up the clothes. I'm like, you know, I'm in an era of my life where I don't like to iron. I hit it as a child, so I sure enough don't want to do it as an adult. Um, we have an iron. We have a whole ironing board. That thing has not been bust out since I can't remember. I think the last time I bust that thing out was when Miss Pina for her um what you call it her Girl Scout stuff I hate ironing I like clothes where I can pop and go and you know my mom used to make fun of my dad cause my she said my dad had a three pop rule he would pop 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 and if it was still wrinkled then he would go iron I'm with dad on that like yes let's get the popping and let's you know what I'm saying I got that dang on laundry soap. I took. I thought I took all the laundry soap in. No, I still got like three bottles in the bag. But we gotta go to laundromat anyway. 
So that's why I left him in the car. But I might have to put him in the back seat because it's getting on my nerves, falling against my door. Whew. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to just kind of stretch my legs. Just, mm. Gotta go to the grocery store. Gotta go to the laundromat. Um, what else we gotta do? Grocery store, laundromat. I need to stop by Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is out this way too. Um, I've made me a list because I need to get snacks for work. Oh my Jesus. Like, when I tell you I literally don't eat, like from the time I walk in the door, it don't matter if it's 6.45, 7 o'clock. I start at 7.15, but baby, I be working. Like yesterday, I literally, I use my do not disturb sign that I got. Um, yeah, I use that. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, are you serious? But I had to use all of that stuff because, like, where they do that at? For real. But, um, I got my first official check, like, full check, right? But it was kind of like a. What do you call it? Like a trick check because this particular check I just got, it didn't have any of my like my benefits and stuff coming out of it. So, you know, it was a lot higher check, but now my check I get in two weeks, baby, that check. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God. And you know what I don't like too? I mean, I guess I like it, don't like it. But working at the district, they um your second check in September is when, you know, they start taking out, like, fall benefit numbers. So, the numbers are lower. But then, come January, right, then you get the high numbers because they do high numbers. That way, you don't pay for benefits throughout the summer. I'm like, oh, But you have benefits all year. So, I mean, it balances out, but dang, you know what I mean? Like, a sister be struggling. Um. And another, what I would say two weeks, basically, we go back before mediation in reference to, um, back before mediation to do, uh, what do you call it? Mm. For my contract, you know, and I'm like, please let us, you know, I, cause first of all, I don't want to strike, but you know, and so and I need to talk to my admin because if we go on strike, that's the whole front office. I mean, not the social workers and the counselors, but that's the whole front office. And honestly, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, I'm not one to vote to strike, right? But I'm also not one to be underpaid either. But I got skills, okay? Because the headhunters are still looking for people. You know, I got, I do have a recruiter that keeps bothering me, like, hey, hey, I'm like, hey, how you doing? But you know, like, you can't get unemployment during a strike. You can't get, um, shoot, you can't even get county benefits during a strike. So I'm like, listen, I need to be working. I can't be, heifer, you didn't even stop. See, don't get me started early in the morning. This the, this the target that my sister cussed this lady out. When I was pregnant with Miss Peanut, child, every time I come here, I get tickled. I'm telling you, every time I come here, because that's the first thing that pops in my mind. My sister went off on that lady. The lady was rude as crap, though. I was just like, sister, I'm like, I can't help you. I'm pregnant. <laughs> that's what I said to her. I'm like, girl, you up here snapping on people? But rightfully so. It was, right, it was rightfully so. I'm just do it in my way. Um, cause what happened, the lady like pushed past her kids, you know, and my sister, you know, she really cool. You know, she not like me and the baby sister. This I'm talking about my big sister. I'm talking about the pastor's wife. So my sister is, you know, she's pretty much a cool, cool cucumber. But baby, that lady must have pushed past her kids. My sister was like, the word is excuse me. 
or something she said. And she was like, what you say? What? That lady must turn around, popped off. My sister was like, who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. I, when I tell you, my sister, I was like, uh, and I was stuck because, first of all, I was in shock that she would even say anything, you know, remotely to that point, or not point, but to that caliber, because she went left quick. But then I was like, sister, I'm pregnant. And I mean, I was good and pregnant, too, because I'm trying to, it was before they had put me on modified bed rest, so it had to be... September, well, August, September, so I, you know, I was, yeah, because Miss Pena was born in January, baby, I was dying, and the girls just looking like, mommy, <laughs> and it was just me, her, and my two nieces, I don't know where baby girl was, but oh my God, she snapped, crackled, and popped, honey, mm, mm, mm. so I get tickled, every, and then, you know, there's always somebody who does something stupid like that lady just did that reminds me of when my sister snapped off. Because, you know, I'm in this area. Mm, this is about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. So it's five suburbs over from where my, from where I live. And it's about two suburbs over from my mama. Well, anyway, they, um, they act a little too privileged for their own good at this Target. But, you know, Target people have a different attitude anyway compared to Walmart. I don't give a care. You Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, whatever. You better act like you got some sense when you're dealing with me. Because, baby, oh, I'm hungry. I don't have no problem. None whatsoever. But let me go on up in here. Because I, I got to get deodorant and I got to get something else. I didn't make my list for Target. I guess that means I get to walk around. All right. Well, I'll be back, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Um, I didn't do too bad in there. So you saw what I got, just toilet paper, paper towels, and I got deodorant. Came up to $26.34. And I had a $20 gift card, so I only paid $6.34. So I thought that was great. I guess he's sitting there. Well, I'm out. Um, I got the heat on in my car because I'm a little cold. It's 56 degrees now, so temp is going up. Uh, there's a Dollar Tree out here. Not the Dollar Tree I would prefer to go to, but nonetheless, there's a Dollar Tree out here. Um, I need to go to Lane Bryant. Um, it opens at 10. So it's 947 now, so I'm going to go over here. And head to Lane Bryant first. I mean, Dollar Tree first. And then head to Lane Bryant. That's another reason why I didn't want Boss Man to come. I'm like, I'm going to buy a bra. I mean, dude. <laughs> you know, not that he's a prude or anything. But I'm like, that's not interesting, is it? So. Plus, I don't want him to get in there and be like, baby, get this. I'm like, yeah, that don't come in my size, husband. So anyway, <laughs> he'll be all right. I'll be back in an hour or two. Well, not two. I got to get back as soon as I can because my car is getting work done today. So, um, oh yeah. So that be that. It was fine in there. There was a lady and her daughter in there just kind of walked in front of me. I was like, that's what we're doing, lady. Leave it alone. Turn this heat down. Because my sweatshirt is pretty warm. But I got to turn it off. I think I'm okay. I'm going to grab me probably something to drink while I'm in Dollar Tree. Just so I can, you know, have a little something on my, on my Wow, you really Bogart? Wow. To get two more, get two lanes over. I mean, literally, that bogart in front of this lady. Very happy she had good reflexes. Because, child, hotmess.com. Oh, real quick um, update on the dupes. The honeypot dupes from Dollar Tree. Miss Peanut actually liked them. Um, me personally, 
they're not a problem, but I I need extreme coverage. I mean, I'm getting ready to hit off into that old menopause era or whatever. And so I call her Eve. Eve pops up and loses her dag on mine sometime. And child, listen. I need extra extra coverage. And so the dupes that I bought, they're ideal for Miss Peanut, but just not for me. Um I don't have no ill will against them. I just need extra big, long, wide, cover everything. So if there's any type of anything, nothing's gonna, you know, happen type of coverage. <laughs> so yeah. There used to be a party city out here. I'm so mad they closed it. But they closed it and put my Dollar Tree out here. So, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, that's that new Buick right there. That Buick is sharp, boy. I saw that Buick in the drive-thru somewhere. It's like, golly. I can't tell what the name of it is. It starts with an A, but that Buick is .bomb.com. All right. I need to go in here. I got my list. So, I'm going to go review my list. Well, yeah, I'm going to review my list, see if I can get what I can here, and then the other stuff I have to get at Walmart. So, yes, stay tuned.